Fox here coming out with this new budget stack. It's only $65. It's 30 by 30, but the only downside is it has an F4 processor. I don't really know what that's gonna do, but from Betaflight developer, are you gonna miss out on certain features? So officially F4 is like about three less than seven, than F7, you know, and like. Back in the day, you could get a drone up and built for just around $200. But man, chip shortage and a lot of other things got us down. But one of the main ingredients to getting a cheap build going was the flight stack. Now, back in the day, you could spend just 50 or 60 bucks and get a diatone stack for cheap, the Mamba. But they've since pretty much gone extinct. There's been a few replacements like Speedy B, but now Foxier has thrown their name into the hat. Budget stack out here that only costs 65 buckaronis. Now, why is that so significant? Because I've been running pretty much all Foxier gear for the last couple of race seasons that's right and even if you're not a racer you can easily always look to what the racers are running because they are crashing and bashing and burning the most amount of gear so they generally spend a little bit more for things that are going to last a little bit longer yes foxier did send me this budget flight stack a couple of them actually but i can confidently say that i'm pretty confident in their electronics because i've spent well over a thousand dollars of my own money on their stacks over the past couple of years. This one comes with a 30 by 30 55 amp ESC and an F4 flight controller. F4, that's right. That's part of how they're able to save a couple of bucks, cut a few corners, and pass those savings on to you. So you're going to need to know the things that you're going to have to give up over an F7, but flight feel is not necessarily one of those things the other nice thing that they've done is that even though you're getting an older gen processor you're still getting a lot of very nice comfort features check out all the harness plugs on this thing it's going to be able to allow you to plug and play pretty much any system that you want very easily which means less soldering for you but if you do have an application outside of that look at all these pads available for your use for the beginner solderer that is gonna likely go with this budget stack. Look at the size of these pads you're gonna to have to work with. It's gonna solder up like a dream, but still go watch a soldering tutorial so that you don't toast this thing. Because if you're a noob, you can toast even the most hardy of electronics. Are you gonna miss out on certain features? So officially F4 is like about three less than seven than f7 you know and like so it's a lot of delay no i'm just kidding f4 is just about the same it's really the same so there's so no your, difference your yeah. quad will feel the same it can use all the same filters yeah, all the, the same, same filters presets. yeah i think it's recommended depending on which f4 let me see which f4 is then yeah, four or five is pretty good yeah on a four or five even on some of four or five you can run 8k pid loop but it's recommended to run 4k pid loop but it doesn't make any difference. Kiss Ooh. uses uh, 1k PID loop. Here, nice. 4k PID loop. Four times faster than Kiss. Nice. And Kiss is supposed to be smooth, so Kiss this should be Kiss four smooth. times smoother. Yeah. Now, this is a 55 amp ESC, and it looks very beefy. It's already pre conformal coated, which is awesome. Lamone approves. It has very nice large FETs, very nice large pads. I love that it has both the connector for the ESC and individual solder pads. So if you break the connector off, you have a backup. Large FETs on the bottom as well. No pads on the underside, so only on the top. Now we look at the flight controller. This is the F405 processor right here and a variety of plugs. So, of course, it comes with your XT60, your gummies, your harness to the ESC, a capacitor, and various plugs. Now, what are those for? Well, if we look right here, here's your ESC plug right here. This is going to be a camera plug. So if you're using analog, you can plug your camera connector directly in here. Back at the back is going to be a DJI or HD plug. This is wired for a DJI connector. So if you have like an O3 or something like that, you can plug it straight in. No more soldering. If you're using an HD0 like the V3 that comes pre-wired with a connector, you can plug it in here, but you're going to need to repin it. So pay attention to that. Over here on this side, you have an analog video transmitter plug and... 
which is uh, up at the front, and then you have a GPS plug right here. So all these come plugged. So if you buy the right equipment to go along with this build, you'll be doing very minimal soldering. But if you do want to do soldering, check out the underside, a plethora of pads. The plethora. Oh, yes. <laughs> you have a plethora any pad that you might want. The only pad that's gonna be better than this is a bachelor pad if you are a young person. Man, look at Johnny Five microphone, it's so look at that. Nice. Original yeah. Dobo gave me that. Now, there was really no downside. I run some of four processors and like they fly just fine. Now, if you were planning to build an open racer with this, bad news. It's super wide and it won't fit in the open racer. Ah, uh, damn it. Now F4 is garbage. <laughs> no, let me see, can I open it? Yeah. This is for you. Oh, is it? Yeah, they sent me an extra one. So because you, can... you know it's not gonna fit open racer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's thirty by thirty. I yeah, see. thirty by thirty. Uh, you think it's not gonna fit? I tried it. It like see how much space on the outside corner. Yeah. It like basically touches the stand. You, you can send the corners. <laughs> <laughs> try it. He's gonna try it. <laughs> for street league, this is for street league then. Yeah. It's, a, it's big 30 by 30, yeah. Yeah, it's got nice pets on it. And it's probably good for a wing. Look at all these plugs. So now, thanks to Fox Air, you can finally fly for cheap again. Again. Now, here's the thing, guys. Fox Air Electronics, up to this point, the Reaper F40, the Reaper 45 amp, the Reaper 60 and 70 and 80 amp, all those have been bulletproof for me. I've used them over and over and over again. But here's what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to slap this in a build, fly it 10 packs and say that it is going to be reliable for the entire community. And I'm going to rely on all of you guys for that information. So pay attention down to the comments, pay attention to this video description. I'm going to have links to where you can buy this thing, but pay attention to whether it's guaranteed fresh or not. A lot of reviewers are just going to fly those 10 packs and tell you to go out and run and buy it and i'm just not about that anymore i really don't care if you click my links i don't care if i make 17 dollars i just want to steer you right and i don't feel like i can put out a video that's close to the release of this product and thoroughly test it for several months and a couple of hundred packs at the same time so maybe i'll put out a long-term review or something like that i've been toying around with maybe once every three to four months putting out a video just to say like long-term review of everything that's lasted a long time and the fox here 20 by 20 stacks would definitely be in that mix and we'll see if this joins those ranks what do you think in the comments guys yes i'll probably try to put some flight footage flight detector test determined that was a lie one other note about this thing it is wide it's a bit wider than your standard 30 by 30 stack so if you're planning on putting it into a potted build like the open racer it doesn't quite fit we were really hoping that it would uh but it just doesn't so you're gonna want a traditional freestyle frame that has an open design so that you're not confined by the confines of a printed tpu pod thanks guys